described as an invasive plant that tries to spread its seed in about a month. And here with the dirt on the great garlic mustard hunt, U of I Extension horticultural educator Ryan Pankaw is back. So this is a tricky little guy we're talking about today. Yeah, this is a, a, a plant that threatens a lot of our natural areas, though, in central Illinois. It was brought here mm. from Europe. Uh, it's called garlic mustard, so it has a garlicky flavor, so it was brought as kind of a culinary herb. So you wouldn't think of something um, being culinary and edible as being bad for for the environment. Right, right. But what it does is it gets into our natural areas and outcompetes all the other plants in the understory mm. uh, for light and other resources, and uh, it's therefore you know lowering our native plant diversity. So and that's there's that's a look a at it. So that's what you are on the lookout for. And that's what it, it should look like in the coming month or so. So oh, it's yeah. probably just coming up now. Uh, probably uh, starts to flower about mid-April or so, and then it has seeds by mid-May. And where would you find these? Like in your yard or um, where are they? I don't know where they'd pop up. Could be in your yard. It, it probably needs a shady spot. It's not going to be able to compete well with uh, plants in full sun like your lawn or something. Uh, but if you live close to a natural area that had it in the woodlands, hmm. you know, it's usually going to be in a, a shady woodland, um, maybe on the edge of the woodland, but could be throughout it. Uh, you could have it popping up in your landscape beds if you have some more shaded oh, areas there gotcha. where it, it can compete. But but they can take over rapidly? Uh, pretty quickly they can take over the understory. And, and another thing this plant has that's interesting is allelopathy, which is a chemical that releases through its roots that inhibits the growth of others. So hmm. when it really starts to get established, it's a problem. Um, the nice thing about it is that it's a biennial plant, meaning it grows for two years before it produces seeds. Uh, the only way that it's going to reproduce is through seeds. So if you can stop that seed production, you can slowly eliminate garlic mustard from your woodlands. But timing is of the essence on when you pull those suckers. Yes, timing <laughs> is very critical. And that's why we plan this great garlic mustard hunt every year. Well, yeah, tell me about so, this. How does um, it work? Well, it's just a, events throughout central Illinois that we've uh, set up here in the months of April and uh, right into May. So right as they're starting to flower before the seeds become viable, uh, we want to hand pull as many of those as we can. And so by hand pulling them, you know, we're stopping seed production, we're taking the plants out of the plant community, and we're improving uh, the diversity of native plants. So where, um, where are you all going to gather together for this well, great there's a, there's uh, about, garlic mustard hunt? Well, we have about eight or nine different events here. Um, it's, it's organized by the Headwaters Invasive Plant Partnership, and that's a local organization that uh, is here, to, here that works on invasives and provides information to landowners that need to know more about different invasive species. So they've kind of organized this. It's at a variety of different locations, uh, the garlic mustard hunts. Some are in the Champaign County Forest Preserve District. Some are at the Land Conservation Foundation's uh, properties around central Illinois. And I think we have a site from Grand Prairie Friends. Um, that's another group that does restoration work right. and has different sites that has this issue. So uh, check out the info on the, on the internet. If, you, if anybody would like to come volunteer at one of these sites, we're always welcoming volunteers. Bring your gloves and maybe um, a, a rake or something. Yeah, bring some Shovel. gloves and some water. Oh. Yeah, and uh, we'll have everything else. Um, within the event info, there's kind of a contact person for each of the events. If folks would like to know a little more information about where to go or right. how to get there, things like that. How to battle that garlic mustard seed plant. Um, something else I want to mention is on our Facebook page, we actually put the call out today um, because it is the first day of spring. Lots yeah. of people are going to start heading outdoors um, if they have any questions for our education um, specialist here. Yeah, we, I'd love to hear from you guys to get some get some questions that you guys care about or want to hear an answer for. So we'll, we'll definitely do our best to answer as many of them as we can get. So... Uh, yeah. Check it out on Facebook and, and send us some of your questions, and I'll, I'll try to answer them as best we can. We tried to stump Kevin Lighty today. Next time, we're going to try and stump <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Sounds like fun. He's up for the challenge. So if you need any more information about the great garlic mustard hunt happening here in central Illinois, um, all the details will be on salivating.tv.